welcome back in this video we will discuss about how we can use the extracted date and time okay we have already extract that day date and time in that year month day or our minute second in last video now we'll use that extracted date and time suppose we have a production line and we have produced some product and we want to show that total product um, number of how much we have produced product that we want to show in morning meeting for that we want to need to write down our value um, in a specific time maybe it is in 12 am to 12 am or 6 am to 6 am like that but we are people that may forget to take the value in a specific time. So we can make a simple program to take the production report from today to previous day for report, ship report or production report. Okay, let's do it. Here in that empty network, I will take a empty box and give a double equal sorry double equal okay and here if you want to if you want to uh, compare or if you want to take the value in night 12 am so you have to put the value here as 12 am and here you have to give the okay here you have to give the hour that hour tag in here okay then and i will give a another tag here that is um, here i will write down it as a today today uh, hour bit or day bit day in bit day end bit okay and it is in boolean boolean it is in boolean tag okay now here I'll make a output okay I will delete this one okay now this day bit so this day bit will high when the hour this hour is equal to 12 see maybe 12 means it is 0 right 12 am means at night it is 0 so give here as 0 okay and this is sorry this is debit here okay now we'll download okay we have this is not the total program so here i will take that means uh, if i not give any interlock here that it will this hour will be zero up to 1 am so it will high for this bit will high for one hour so we don't need to high for one hour so we will give a another operand that is double equal to equal to and it is zero so and and it is minute so here what we have con give um, what we have give in interlock that one operand equal with hour that is zero when minute is zero that will give a high so it will high for one minute up to 
next minute so that will this j in bit will high for one minute so we don't need that proof so we will give another operand that is less than okay and less than one so and it is minute second okay now this bit you will high for one second okay how it will high for one second when the hour is equal to zero means in midnight it is zero 12 am and this minute is zero for one minute up to next one minute okay so it is high it is high and this will high up to one second when the second is one so that will be zero and that bit will be zero two so up to one second it will give a high so it will high for one second let's download and see okay for now it is see it is 0 20 it is 49 and it is 39 and it is now low so for testing purpose i'll keep it is 20 here okay and here i will give 51 because after changing it will um, it will be 50 okay now i'll give it as a 20 and here i will give as a 51 okay now i'll download and now see it is 51 so it is how so it is high because the our time hour is 20 and our target time is 20 and current value is 20 okay and minutes uh, our target minute is 51 and the current minute is 50 so after that 20 second it will be 51 and it will give high for one second let's see yes see it it has gave a one second pulse now we will sense that production value from today's to tomorrow and that for i will give i will create some variable for testing for simulation suppose our total today production here i will write today production production and it is as integer suppose integer i don't know maybe in your case real okay and we want to ship that today production repo value to previous day because today's value uh, after 12 am it will be previous day so previous day production that one integer 2 okay now i will give here a okay move a move move okay and this move will work when that debit is high okay and our today our today production will be shifted to move to our previous day now download okay now see here our value is now currently it is 53 so we will give here 
So after 54 it will okay now value is 16 and the production value is suppose 100 okay that 100 will goes to production value production previous day production okay today's production will goes to previous day okay see it is 56 so it will okay now see it is shifted to previous day but after shifted that today's production to previous day it should be zero because our uh, our production will recount from that time that will be today's production so okay now i will make a another one okay and that move and it will be our zero to we want to shift here okay now this bit okay okay download fifty five it is now fifty six now I will download again okay so it is 55 when it is 56 our value this value okay now i'll give a another value that is 200 okay that 200 will goes to previous day and later it will be zero but there will be a error means that all the value will be zero and why it will be zero i'll tell okay see see it's shifted to zero all the value zero why it's all the value zero because in first scan when this bit is high that time it will shifted to um, this value to zero Later in next instruction, it will shift it to zero. So first instruction that 200 will goes to there, and here it will goes to zero to here. But this day in bit will high for once again. But that in once again your CPU will scan more than 100 times, maybe. To 850 500 times if your cycle time scan cycle time is 2 millisecond then it will take uh, it will scan for 500 500 times in one second so first scan it will shifted production today production to previous day as it is it was 200 so it is it will be 200 and here it will shift it to zero but when it will scan again that time that your production value was zero so that zero will shift it to here so all the value will be zero so what we have to do we have to do that we need to scan for one cycle if it is high for one minute one minute or one hour no problem here we have made for one second that is good so it will scan for only one cycle not for 500 cycle so how we can do that uh, one cycle scan we have to use the positive stagger okay i will make the positive stagger here okay i will make a bit here that today 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 to 
प्रीवियस डे प्रीवियस डे ओके टुडे टू प्रीवियस डे एंड इट इज बुलियन टैग टुडे टू प्रीवियस डे बुलियन टैग ओके बुलियन एंड फॉर आवर for our uh, staggering we need a memory bit so here we will create a memory and that is the memory tag and it will be for one shot means one cycle so here i will write as a one shot okay now here i will give a tag that that debit when debit is high that time our output bit this one will be this one okay so it will be positive is trigger and this one is our memory tag we already talked about that one shot positive trigger in another video you can watch that from our channel okay now we will use that one shot value this one in here where we will use that here okay okay that one now will download and see will it work or not now i will give a value 300 300 and the value current value is what is the it is 56 now 21 so we have to give here 21 and here we have to keep 2 ok because it's ok now see it is 1 now let's see the value it will shoot it should be shifted to here previous day and our today production will be 0 and it will start counting again if your production menu link it link with that tag okay yes it is shifted see it is shifted to previous day and our production value is here zero again we will check for another cycle that is 3 download ok check again ok ok now our today production suppose 400 400 and previous day we have pro produced 300 product and today we have produced till the time we have set it it is 400 so it will shift it to previous day and that will will be zero if you want to create your monthly report that you can also do in same way by using month month uh, month tag okay now see we our production today production shifted to previous day and our today production resetted to zero and it will recount again if it is linked with your production production counter okay thank you